Hello everybody, this is Shifty here with Engineering Dre. Hey guys. And you're going to need to talk louder, Dre. Hey Dre. Hey, Dre. <laughs> hey everybody. Hey, and we're going to bring you an epic, epic match. Now, the, di the name of the, the this video will just be called Epic Match, I believe. And uh, it's, I'll get it started while it loads because it takes a lot of load. And I'll briefly talk on the game. The game essentially is a 3v3, but something crazy happened. We'll let you see the twist as it happens. Some background is uh, this game was played with three guys in our dorm. It's the three on three match, so we were playing in the lounge of our dorm. Yep. And, and that's how doggy we are. And that's that's what we do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do that. I was I was watching. And I yeah, was, he I, was. Yeah. I couldn't leave. It was to the point where I had homework to do and I couldn't leave. All right, so. We start off, and we have two Terrans and a Zerg uh, on Shifty's team, and, um, uh, yeah, here we go. I am purple. Alright, so Shifty's purple, and... Oh, let me fix my someone's mouse. Someone's... Yep. Soft downloading. Exactly. Oh, and look at me, witty witty, except I typed it to allies by accident. I believe that this is this, um, uh, Luke, is this Luke? Who's this is, this is Luke. Luke, Luke, yep. Uh, Lieutenant Lucas. Lieutenant Lucas is lagging out because he was trying to use a wired connect. Yep. Here we go. This is the twist. The epic twist. We have lost one of our three uh, teammates, and Shifty, from now on, will play as both uh, yeah. Terran players. So I'm going to give you guys a little view of myself for the moment. You'll see that I'm constantly selecting uh, both uh, Lieutenant Lucas and my own units. If you notice, I'm switching back and forth, building from both command centers and throwing out supply depots from both sides. Now. And this is alright, luckily, because we are both Terran, so it's a little easier for the hotkeys and all that stuff. But it is annoying, one, because upgrades that I built as yellow do not apply... What, do you want me to speed it up? I mean, it's a pretty long video. Okay, so this is kind of boring right now. I guess I'll speed it up. And what uh, I was going to say is, uh, upgrades for yellow doesn't apply to purple, even though I am using both. And also, you can't see the supply for yellow, you can only see it for purple, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, if we look at APM... I, uh, someone has 500 apparently? How do I only have 76? Interesting. That's a massive spamming by Ray Charles over here. With making everybody look embarrassed with that APM chart. Anyways, let's look at this game. Uh, anyways, what we do have is a massive number of command centers being thrown down. Because what I do intend to do is go for mass marine push. Because of my double Terran capabilities. I am going to be going for two barracks on both sides. Oh, I should be. Uh, where's the second yellow barracks? I guess it's not coming up. Regardless, going to be getting control... Uh, uh, what are those called? Re reactors, sorry. Oh, boy. Getting reactors and just pumping out a lot of Marines. Meanwhile, so now you guys know that I am playing as two players, as you guys should have saw. Just if you look at what I'm selecting, uh, I'm selecting purple right now, switching to yellow, Switching to yellow, spilled another thing from yellow, so it just constantly switch like that. Now, that is the great twist of this game. So I'm playing as two players in a 2v3, a 3v3. in a 3v3, but it's essentially a 2v3 with me controlling two people. Now, if the other player was Terran, for example, I don't think I would be able to pull this off. But, a little should be, let, uh, let it be known, we did come back and win this. Because that's why this is epic. <laughs> Engineering Dre was like, "You have got to win so we can put this up." If we didn't win, I, I just, I just, I would be so disappointed because this material is just fantastic. Anyways, you can look at the number of marines being produced and all that stuff. We got, you know, seven marines, eight, nine marines, and just gonna be pumping out a lot of marines. And then we're gonna make a push with the Zerg player. Zerg player has a bunch of uh, Zerglings. You know, that's all right, just to take the bulk of my damage. And there's noticeably, notice there is a cheese here. One zealot being thrown down, and um, kind of annoying. Uh, I didn't see this, but just want to note that no cybernetics is up, and this red player is going for all zealots. Now, you know, not too fantastic player, but it is, you know, difficult when you have, you know, this many people. And if you look at income, yellow has no income because I sh essentially shared my income with the other player. Uh, or sorry, yeah, Lieutenant Lucas is. Let me drink that. Sorry, he's trying to steal my drink so I don't sip or something. Um, uh, the other player, uh, Lieutenant Lucas, his income is split between me and this guy, so that's why he, it looks like he has no money. Anyways, two zealots over here, and we're moving out right now, Zerglings and a mass marine. How many marines do we have? How many do we have? A lot. A lot, that's it. Alright, so, uh, let it be known, first of all, that 
we have all there were three of them in the dorm room so we basically have instant communication it it allows for them to communicate without having you know type out keyboard stuff and it was shifty doing most of the strategic uh, decisions throughout the game ordering around uh, his Zerg um, counterplay. Exactly. That's why when you see in this 2v2, almost no comments are being said between, uh, being shared between me and the other player. That's because at this point we were like, um, we don't, uh, because I was just telling them uh, through ma uh, word of mouth. So there was no need for me to go and type anything out, which actually saved a lot of my time. Meanwhile, I do want to note this. These two Zealots are wrecking all of the yellow SCVs that I didn't notice because it doesn't show up on my radar. So that's the big thing. That's very, very annoying because normally if I get attacked, there's a little red blinking thing and I hit space and jumps right back. Here, no such thing occurred. And then once I turn back, I notice, damn it, SCVs are all gone. And meanwhile, there's another massive marine uh, ball being built. And um, uh, is combat shield research? No, it isn't. So, yeah, we got like a lot of damage was done to the Zerg player. If you notice, he has so few drones and all that's all he's built. And oh, he's still building roaches. Not a good decision. Should he just be building up a economy we note that uh, Protoss player has a lot of zealots um, nothing much else over here he uh, finally realized the cheese and we're getting yeah, on with it. I was wondering how the zealots get by it, uh, Dre was like did he just walk by your base <laughs> and I was like no I no way I, you know I wouldn't be that stupid but so you were wrong. yeah I, I, I was wrong he just he, yeah he just walked in my base essentially I know these two buildings go down and I realize it's probably time to change from the massive bio ball uh, because he does have siege tanks and of course siege tanks siege well this is before the nerf pop goes all your marines and I actually do have a let's look at unit count um, yeah, 17 marines and 15 marines so that's 32 marines controlled by shifty right here if you notice a little purple thing it's highlighting all the units because I'm playing as both so don't you say I wasn't playing as two players <laughs> <laughs> Actually, can I have a request? Could we possibly see simply your screen at this point? Like, can we follow your screen? Sure. All right, thank you. Also, guys, just let me know, you know, if you ever had anything crazy like this before uh, or anything like that happened. Send in that replay. Oh, no, I'm so stupid. I sent purple mules down here, <laughs> and they can't return to the yellow. <laughs> so they just go. <laughs> we learned a lot of interesting things about how, how it works when you have to interact yeah. with two different Terran. I totally forgot. Too. I think we also have an issue later on with bunkers. Yeah, there's a later issue. I will, I will talk about it when it arises, but right now... We got a few guys with combat oh. shields coming yeah, up. Yeah, I researched combat shields, but I realized they only go for yellow units. So purple or my own marines don't have any combat shields, which just sucks. Anyways, those sea tanks deploy. Luckily, they didn't attack... Oh, I lost like 20 marines right there. Uh, that was embarrassing right here. And so now this marine push uh, should be able to survive. Let me check. Uh, just barely until reinforcements come and everything's dead. <laughs> so that was kind of disappointing. That's when we realized that the bio bump uh, is probably not going to work. Yeah, if, but if we look at units lost, yellow has lost the most number of units, which is uh, understandable. <laughs> understandably, and I'm second. I'm just just right behind. And so Zerglings... Uh, oh, I think at this point you were telling him to get the hell out yeah, of there. Yeah, he was like, what? I'm like, what are you doing? You know, get that out of there. And he sends a few hydras, so you should never attack by yourself, which is what he did here. He's like a, he's the solo man over here. Yeah, and Mr. Solo. kill the tank, hopefully. And yeah, yeah, yeah we got the tank. Okay, so these units are just going to die, I guess. Uh, I also want to note an expansion thrown down, not in the uh, natural, which is very, very wise or risky. It's risky and wise in the sense that you get them, you want to mine these out as soon as you can and keep these here. So that if you ever, like, go to the late game, you can keep your minerals. And as we go on in this game, since it's a 40 minute game, uh, minerals and the Vespian gas are a huge, huge part of the strategy and you know we're gonna see a lot of stuff get mined out so yeah so everybody um i don't know if this video is gonna be in two or three parts but watch it it's just so intense you have got to watch this game i think we can speed up a little bit all right, all right i'll try to speed it up all right so anyways nothing much happening here we're chilling over here and let's go to view of everybody we see that the blue zerg has a bunch of roaches does he have glial reconstitution no he doesn't you can tell by the little color thing uh blue terran has expanded um kind of a crappy army not gonna lie with you and uh, let's look at the Protoss player, almost mined out, throwing down an expansion, has four full chrono boost not being used. Um, what else is going on? We see uh, weapons upgrade, four warp gates, no upgrades so far, but one is coming. Zerg player uh, got a bunch of hydras and zerglings, I got a bunch of marines. And at this point, I think, yep, 
You know what this means? I think that at this point we decided to go for the battle cruiser build because did he throw down some scams? You saw a lot of uh, of, gr of ground, ground units. units. I saw a lot of ground units, and I thought battle cruisers. Heck, what count as them? <laughs> that way. So, <laughs> which is why they're getting nerfed. Yeah, they're we're getting them. nerfed. So we're throwing up a bunch of uh, battle cruisers. We're, no, not yet. Not yet. Oh, we're, we're throwing we're down three starports. All right, we're, we're building up to that. I'm just getting yeah, ahead of myself. The uh, fusion core and two armory, so I could upgrade the weapons immediately. Because what upgrades, when you get them up in early in the game, they pay off for themselves really, really quickly. So they're really, really effective. Um, can we can we see this uh, yeah. center build? So we have see a, uh, more expansion getting thrown down. We see a lot of uh, bunkers. Cause we're yeah. gonna hold down this uh, center area. Yep. And if we look at the uh, army sizes, we see that Orange has the largest army. That's because he look at how look at his economy right now, running out of three bases, almost mined out in his main. Whereas uh, if you look at me and uh, and and Yellow, we I mean we essentially got nothing because um it's hard to manage two. Yeah, it's hard to manage two people. But also like at this point, I was trying to transition to battle cruisers, which cost a lot of resources. And actually, I am getting a lot right now. Uh, I should be building tanks or something so that uh. Tanks and battle cruisers always work out very well. I have bunkers, and oh, I didn't forgot to talk about it. The bunkers, when I tried to put all my units in, only the purple ones went in, and the yellow ones just stood there, and they blocked the other units. So I, again, I forgot that you can't combine armies like that, which is very, very annoying. And um, so if we just look at the armies of the uh, of the two sides. Uh, this, oh, this was me uh, telling this guy to move. But um, we got Colossus, Anti-Air, and Zealots. No charge lots, no blink research. Um, we got tank, oh, we got Marauder Ball with a few tanks, no upgrades, I believe, well, plus one, uh, plus one weapons, and we got a bunch of Roaches plus one, uh, range upgrade, uh, plus one range upgrade, and we see an expansion thrown down, expansion thrown down, so at this point, it's actually kind of e equal, uh, if we look at income, um, orange, no, blue's at the top, because he has mule capabilities, yeah, mule, and second is orange and I'm you know way up the behind because well first I'm about to set up another expansion here I have one expansion here so just set, setting everything up and right now we're just kinda chilling I do have a bunch of battle cruisers three and more are on the way but I'm running low on gas let's see how much gas orange has orange actually has a lot of gas I think and he sends a little bit your way yeah he know. keeps yeah he constantly sends resources and look at him almost five thousand minerals and he's maxed out so like this is really really good um, economy uh, by the uh, Zerg player. I actually should transfer all these drones over here. Oh, bird roaches. Somehow I scouted this. Uh, I think I did like a random scan somewhere and just found all his bird roaches. I think you were looking at for an expansion. Oh, that's right. I was looking for expansions. Okay. Anyways, so we got... Uh, do I scan now? Let me check. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, there it is. See all the roaches. Um, yep, there we go. Yeah. So anyways, it looks like units lost. Blue is behind. No, no, orange is behind and then blue. Uh, any of them maxed out? No, they aren't. Blue is almost maxed out. And so that's about that. Right now, I think a, a, an eminent push is about to come. Um, we do.